pick up, picking up the speed. Swing, switch, cross, swing, switch, cross, swing, switch, cross, swing, switch. Oh, I missed the catch. Hold on. There we go. There's a catch. Okay. This video is a follow on from the side swing tutorial entitled How to Make Your Side Swing Smooth. We're here again for another video. This video is a follow on from the side swing tutorial entitled How to Make Your Side Swing Smooth. And that got a really good response. I really appreciate all the comments. Uh, many of you requested that I go into further detail on this technique, show you some uh, various transitions you can do with it. Um, so here it is. The side swing is a very versatile technique, uh, it can be used very well for active resting you can also use it to transition into other other moves so we're going to look at three or four techniques let's crack into it we're going to start off looking at regular side swing transitions from jumping to side swings to jumping to side swings okay the key elements here are how you exit your jump into the side swing and how you enter your jump from the side swing. So first we're gonna look at that exit. Nice and slow to start with, just up. Okay, now you'll notice for the exit, you go from skipping like this to just bringing your following hand underneath the dominant hand, and then dominant hand takes the lead with those swings, okay? That's the exit. I highly recommend you check out the previous video first because in that video, we discussed which hand to use on top and which hand to use underneath when you're doing your side swings. But in a nutshell, when you're first starting out, you want your dominant hand, the hand you use most, for me it's the right hand, you want that to be on top, okay? Now, the side swing really cannot be any simpler than this. As I mentioned before, you have your lead hand and you have your following hand. While you're doing your regular skipping, you have one hand either side. You want to take one hand to join up with the other, okay? The best way to do this is to take your following hand to join up with your lead hand because you need both hands on one side to start the side swing. It doesn't matter if it's your left or your right. It really just depends on which hand is dominant for you. So, I'm right-handed. My lead hand is my right hand. So I will need my follower hand to just come over and buddy up with my right hand. While jumping, my right hand stays where it is and the left hand just comes over and joins it in position beneath the right hand. Now, if you wanna transition from side swings into your jump, this is the trickier part. Don't complicate it. I see a lot of people trying to open up both hands. You don't need to do that. You're gonna be swinging either side anyway. You wait for one hand to stay on one side, um, to be on the correct side, sorry. So it's the follower hand on its side and then you open up demo so side swings and then it's on the left now and I open okay you don't need to do this you just wait for it to wait for it on the left and then open this actually goes straight into um, a question from one of the commenters recently on that video I think his name was Brandon Withers or Weathers apologies if I got that wrong I'll find out the correct name and just put it down below thank you for the question um, he asked if when having your dominant hand on top you're able to transition into regular jumping um, from either side 
So what I'm going to do is first I'm going to demonstrate what happens when you try to transition into the jumps from either side. So from the left, it's nice and involved. And if I do it from the right, okay, because what you're doing is you're because your, your dominant hand is there to provide the power of the swings and your following hand is just there to add, act as an anchor to steer it, you're getting the roll switched up. Okay, if you want to transition from this side then, you're asking your follower hand to open up and then that has to power the um, momentum of the rope. And that's why it looks very untidy. I'll do it one more time to show you the difference. Okay. So from the left. And from the right. Not tidy at all. Here's a fix I'd recommend for that. And it will take some training, but you will get it with the reps and with the patience switch to left hand dominant okay or right hand if your dominant hand is your left hand and then you're able to just do the tidy um, exit from the side swing just with the, with the other hand so I'll demonstrate what I'm talking about so I'm gonna start with right hand dominant I'm gonna switch to left hand dominant and then exit the side swings on in both cases so right hand first there we go that's right exit in that's right again exit in now I switch to left hand dominant now my left hand's on top exit in left hand's on top exit in Okay, so I did that really fast um, just to demonstrate, but I'm now I'm gonna break down that transition, that transition from your right hand dominant to your left hand dominant. Of course, it goes without saying that you need to be comfortable swinging with your left hand dom uh, on top and your right hand on top. But if you went by what was said in that previous video, um, you should be comfortable with your right handed or left handed if whatever's dominant for you, you should be comfortable with that and now working on getting your weaker hand up to speed. Okay, that's right handed side swing. Eventually, when you get comfortable enough leading with your stronger hand, I always recommend working on your weaker hand as the lead hand immediately. This just makes me, you a more balanced um, athlete, a more balanced rope athlete, so uh, bear that in mind, okay? But anyway. That transition so what you want to do the best way to learn this is to start counting in your head okay as you swing either side okay so as you're doing your side swing it's one two one two one two to do your switch you need to do a two count on the left side for me because my left hand's weaker and as you're going from one to two you switch your hands over like this okay not like that, because that does not work. Switch them over like this, okay? So I think this will be a good angle to demonstrate. I'm gonna do uh, a one count on either side, and then when I'm transitioning, I do a two count on the left side if I wanna to transition to left hand dominant. So one, 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 two, one. You see that? One, two. Okay, so back from the regular angle, I'll demonstrate again. Nice and slow. One, 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 two, one, 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 two, one, 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 two, one, 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 two. So that's our second transition, switching from right hand dominant to left hand dominant or we'll call it switching dominators wow um, so that's the second transition 
the third transition we're going to look at now is transitioning from a side swing into a cross okay um, I'll demonstrate a crossover for you first so it's a very popular technique for anyone who's doing rope training to try it out the crossover is as follows Okay, so we're going to look at how to transition from a side swing into that crossover now. I'll demonstrate it first and then we'll break it down. Now what you'll notice with that is um, actually quite similar to going from <clears throat> exiting your side swings and going into regular jumps what you do is you leave one hand on one side and you bring the other one across okay but in this case you switch the hands over because you want your your arms to be crossed so what you do is you leave your left hand on your right side if you want to cross with this right hand or if your left hand dominant you leave your right hand on this right side and cross with that left hand the dominant hand being on top so I'll do that nice and slowly to demonstrate. Swings. Okay. Right hand dominant, right hand's on top. Left hand stays, right hand crosses. When we come out again. Okay. Left hand dominant. Left hand's on top. Right hand stays. And you cross. And when you get comfortable, speed up. Alright, so um, now we've been able to do those three transitions, you can actually chain them all together. Do um, a switch of the dominant hand and then do a crossover immediately afterwards. I'm going to demonstrate that really slowly. So, here, swinging switch my dominant hand and then go come underneath so swing in switch and now I'm right hand dominant okay switch and now I'm left hand dominant switch right hand dominant um I will do some slow mos for that one uh, just so you can really break it down down. Um, that's it. I mean, this is just. I, I just think it's better to be more well-rounded. I just think, um, you know, the, I've, I've just always thought it's better to be able to train yourself to do something on your right hand and then train yourself to do it with your left, okay? Not only is this making you a more well-rounded athlete, but you're learning how to learn. You're learning how to do certain techniques because you have to teach your, you have to teach your weaker hand how to work with these techniques so I always say once you're comfortable doing something with your right hand do it with your left hand it sucks I know okay you whip yourself a bunch of times I know but it will happen I, I have a weaker hand I'm not ambidextrous but it took me some while some while <laughs> it took me some time <laughs> or a while to um, train my weaker hand so we're gonna look at that transition from exiting our jumps to our side swings and exiting our side swings to our jumps with the right hand and with the left hand exits that was right hand dominance left hand dominance exit 
speed. Speed. Same thing goes for when you're switching your dominant hand. We're gonna switch dominance on our right and we're also gonna switch dominance on our left. Switch. 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 Lastly, we're gonna look at that crossover transition on the right and also on our left. And if you're feeling really confident, we can work on putting it all together, working on that side swing, um, switching dominance just before, and then getting that cross out of the side swing into some um, jumping, as I'm gonna demonstrate. So, swings, switch, cross, out. Swings, switch, cross. Swings, switch, cross, swings, swings, switch, cross. Okay, Pick up, picking up the speed, swings, switch, cross, swings, switch, cross, swings, switch, cross, swings, switch. Oh, I missed the catch. Hold on. There we go. There's a catch. Okay. Thanks for tuning in. Um, hope you enjoyed the video. Video. Let me know down below what you thought, what you want me to do in future videos. But until next time, all the best with your training and stay raging. Okay, it's starting to rain, which is just brilliant because it means these next transitions are going to look very dramatic if the rain starts pouring down on me. Um, and I have to keep this t-shirt on because I just think it looks really cool. Got my rope bridge t-shirts coming soon. Anyway, so. Where was I? Um...